Hey everyone, this is Lily here, and so I am back to show you guys my Tuesday morning finds that I picked up on Wednesday. I got some time to myself. The hubby sent me off to go do some shopping and have some time to myself. So I, of course, made my rounds and I went to Tuesday morning and then I headed over to the Dollar Tree and those were the items that I picked up from the first haul you saw. So before it gets too late um, and far away from when I bought the things, I wanted to show you what I picked up. So when I first pulled up to Tuesday morning, I had noticed that there are signs outside the front and it says the store was closing. So they were giving you, you know, 10% off and everything was a final sale, but they really didn't have much information for me. They just said they weren't doing very well right there. And that is the closest location I have to me. But there are a few other ones, you know, I just have to venture a little further off, but it's no big deal. There's like, I think there's four or five here in Vegas. So I'm all right with that. But anyways, the first thing I saw that I wanted to pick up when I walked in was this really cute little, um, I thought it was like a little journal when I first picked it up and it is actually a planner and it's, uh, it was only $2.99 and then it had some plastic on it. But when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It has like your little area here for a little at a glance kind of quick planner thingy page here and then on this side it has a spot for like receipts or things you need to keep inside here this is a little envelope and then there's little um coordinating envelopes that are not envelopes sticky notes so there's like a little street corner there and then a doggy and then the eiffel tower and then this one just has the eiffel tower here on that so i thought for 2.99 even if i didn't use it it would make a cute gift or just cute to have i like the way it looks so i'll put it in my office and three bucks guys you cannot pass it up they had a lot of journals like really cute journals I had like four of them in my hands and I'm like what do you need <laughs> all these journals for you're not writing that much stuff down but they were just so cute they had like still the typewriter one they had one with hot pink um it was hot pink and it had gold dots and it said glitter and shine and just all sorts of cute little stuff it's like now they're closing and they're starting to get cute stuff I was really baffled by that I'm like what I was asking the girl like how come now I come in here and find really cute stuff and normally I walk out with just toys for the kids and this time I actually, my total was $35 and I was astonished that I had managed to even spend that much in there. The next items I picked up were kind of like something I walked past and I was like, no. And then I walked by, you know, I walked by and I'm like, yeah, I think I can do something with these. So I had never seen boa uh, material in there like this before and it was 99 cents. They had some faux fur on a roll, but I really don't want any faux fur, but I thought I could actually make something cute with this little boa here, so I'm gonna try to think of something to do with these. So I did, for 99 cents, pick up two rolls of that, so I thought that was cute. And they had some lace and some other cool things on the rolls like this, but the lace was really stiff and I didn't, I didn't like the way it looked, and then there was some other trim that just was nothing that I thought I, you know, wanted to add to my collection, so. These are what I picked up from that section. The next area I checked out for sure was the paper pad area. I hadn't looked in there in a while and I came across this and I don't know if, it, I think this is old, I don't know. It says Darling on it and this was $5.99. What got me right away was the little vintage skates there and just the colors all together I thought were gorgeous. And these papers were double sided which is really awesome. I like this page here. I thought these little card cutouts were super cute. And then let me back it up here. That page just has like a vintage stroller. And then you have some striped paper there. This was really cute, the little cutout dresses. And then another page of those cards there. Butterflies. I like that, it's like the tooth. What is that print called? I forget, Hound's Tooth. <laughs> And then the hearts, another page of the dresses. This one was really cute. When I grow up, I want to be a, and then there's just like cute little pages in here. I thought this was adorable, so. I definitely think I can use this. But yeah, so that's that one. It's kind of just repeating, so. Thought I would share that with you guys. And then the other one is a Pebbles one, and it says Hello Spring. I'm pretty sure I have seen this before, but I wanted to grab it just in case. I think this was the only one left in my store, and I'm sure with the discount they're giving, well, it's only 10%, but I'm sure, you know, everything will start leaving here soon, and I just wanted to grab it before it's gone. I absolutely love this page here with the bees on it. 
And there's lots of prints you could use on here for any time situation. So I like these pages a lot. This one is really cute. There we go, I wanted to pick up at this page here. So these are kind of, they look like little packets of flower seeds, guys, that's what they look like. I was like, what are these trying to be? It's like the little packets of seeds when you buy them from like Home Depot or the garden shop to grow little flowers. So you give you two pages of that, that's really adorable. That would make a cute flip book for spring. I love that. The colors in here are so cute. I'm pretty sure I have seen this either hauled or somewhere. I don't know why I didn't pick it up before, but it is super cute and I'm glad I picked it up this time. And, oh, look at that page. Look at the little bird cage. Super cute. And spring, before you know it, guys, we'll be here again. So, <laughs> super cute. All right. The next set of items I found were stamps and I had definitely never seen these before, but I thought they were so cute. Um, they are coloring clear stamps. I've been not showing the numbers on these things, but my camera doesn't, let me see. I if usually if I, I'm not touch, did I really just touch the sticker instead of the phone? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's that number there. And then they're coloring clear stamps. So this is a big stamp here. And then you would just color it with your markers. And then they give you a smaller one there. And then they have sayings. So I think you put these on cards. That's what, I, what I'm thinking there for. And then there's extra little pieces to stamp on. And then this one says, amazing, so kind, beautiful, and blooming marvelous. And I thought that one was super cute. And these were $4.99 a piece. Um... Hampton Arts seems to be the brand there. And there was four or five of these and I picked up three. I had four of them in my hand and then I just was like, I don't need all of these. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the habit of like, am I gonna use this? Where is it gonna go? Like, do I need it? So it's it's one of those things where you're doing in the aisle where people are walking by looking at you crazy. <laughs> as you're standing there contemplating but anyways this one here says thinking of you with love have a great day and best wishes and I just love the little pieces that this one came with I thought those would be cute on you know like pocket letters or stamping envelopes something fun and then that one just like a little bridge scene with the sun and then the trees in the background and then I really like this one that's like a castle with the moon and the sky and stuff that was super cute there and that one did I show you guys the number on that one there is the number kinda on that one. And then this one was really cute. This one is a rainbow with the sun and then it's got the cute little flowers and the mushrooms. It reminds me of like a little fairy land. And the extra pieces this one came with were a nice size. There's a dragonfly, a flower, a little mushroom and rainbow and two different kinds of suns and butterfly and a flower. And it says, wish you were here good day sunshine and you make me smile so I thought those were useful little words to use you know for stamping and cards and stuff so definitely picked up that one the other two that they had were also really cute guys I would definitely take and you know take a peek and see if you can find them because they all had like little different words that would be interchangeable and stuff but these were just the three that I felt the best that I would actually use and then the last item I picked up from the do the Dollar Tree, from Tuesday morning was this really pretty ornament and it is called a Prestige Christmas and then it says only words, Christmas bauble, um, Desire, Desire is the brand there and it was $3.99 and it is a pretty big die. I thought it was a cute one, nice size. I hope it, you know, cuts nicely. This, they had so many of this that I thought like maybe my store got everybody's freaking quantity because <laughs> there was like two pegs all the way filled with this. And I was like, why would we get so many of one die? But anyways, I don't know how their system works, but I found this there and I thought that was really cute. And that was pretty much my choices from Tuesday morning. I didn't want to bring anything into my house that I would not use, so I tried to keep it simple. But I feel altogether the stuff I picked were cute things. You could tell this is my stuff when you look at it because it looks like me, all my Nerdville stuff here. And um, I don't know where my little planner went. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the little left out things from 
the dollar spot at Target, and then I had just the little random things I've been picking up at Michael's as I've been searching for stuff. So the first thing I want to talk about from the Target dollar spot and the new Christmas stuff is this super adorable penguin that they have. It is all over the stickers and they have all matching little, I think like beanies and stuff. And there's also a blanket, which I really want to get the blanket. I don't know how small it is, but I still want to get it. This pillow is rather small, but I'm actually going to put this in my office on my office chair as like a lumbar pillow. I think I would be the perfect size for that. And since I'll be taking out my Ouija board one here shortly, this would be cute to replace that one. And this was $3 and she is adorable. I need to find the blanket. I have not come across it yet, but I really want to find it. And I just love her. So that is my first item I'm going to share. The next things I picked up are always repeat items that I always pick up for the boys. If I find socks for boys, which sometimes is hard, I will always pick them up some socks because... It's just easier when I'm matching socks to have these kind of socks versus all the the ones that are like plain like Hanes. They just, I don't know, they always seem to disappear. But these I can always match up easily. They're easy to find and pull out of the pile of laundry and sort. So I always get them the little character socks from Target for a dollar. I also found the cute trolls. I just love this movie. I, um... I think I'm going to make some paper clips out of this. Actually, that is, after I haul this, I'm going to go try to glue my paper clips to this, and I'm going to make them into little paper clips for my planner. I think that would be so adorable. And at a dollar a piece, that's not bad. They're actually erasers, so you could use them for erasers or give them to your kids for school, but I'm going to use mine in my planner, of course. <laughs> and then the next two items I found were these washers. These are the only ones I wanted. Some of them just weren't my style, and... I didn't think I needed them. This one is the cute little glitter Christmas trees, so that was a must have. And then the print on here has the green, so together those will look cute. So I picked up this one. I did notice when I was trying to peel it up that the quality of this tape is kind of yuck. It kind of busted already when I'm trying to lift it, so I don't know how that's going to work. But I don't know, maybe it's just the starter piece that's all yucky. And then I actually found one of these little mini paper pads. This was the only one I found. I don't know what the rest look like, but the paper in here is gorgeous. So I will be on the hunt for more of this paper. I just like the, the foil one is like really pretty. But you know what I was thinking, guys? All the holiday Christmas boxes and stuff where you get like six boxes at the dollar store for a dollar, they're like cardstock thickness. Couldn't we punch those? Because I always see gorgeous boxes that I really don't... Have presents to give away in a box. I wonder if we die cut those boxes if they would work or use those as pocket letters too. So I'm going to try that. But anyways, here is the pretty papers in here. I will be looking for more of that. And that is it for my Target Dollar Spot stuff. I will show you my Michaels finds next. So the first item I'm going to show you is actually the pink pineapple planner I wanted so bad and I had to pass it up a few times and then I went shopping one day with my friend Rebecca and she actually had it in her cart for me and she bought it for me and gave it to me after um, we got home. I thought that was so nice of her. She's so sweet and now I have my pineapple planner. I just love it. So it is the bigger size of the new recollections planners and it also came in the back with all the stickers here and all the cute stuff like the uniform porn one has so I've got my two new planners for the next year something random guys that I wanted to share with you guys I don't know when's the last time I went to Walmart before the other day but I really my lips have been so dry and I came across these new chapsticks where you can put them together and you can stack them in any kind of flavors you want and then you just twist off the lid and this one was like pineapple and coconut and I thought that was like a super yummy combo and they had like boxes of different flavors and you just mix and match your own flavors and I thought that was a really cool idea so I picked up one of those and I'm just sharing it with you because it was in my bag <laughs> and I thought that it was neat so if you have dry lips I would try this out and I think it is the chapstick brand or does it say oh it's duo chapstick duos so that's what they're called let me get that back together or not I had picked up this one I picked up a while back but I had lost it in my pile of haul stuff but it was the Santa Belt paper stack, and I haven't seen it since. I wanted to get another one of these when they have when they have the coupons, but it's been a while since I've seen it, so I have to keep my eye out. And then I had picked up these little fabric stickers, and this wasn't in the section with all the Santa stuff. These were actually in the kids 
crafting area. I didn't know why because it looked like it went with this, but there is multitudes of sizes in here. Well, there's three different sizes, not multitudes, I guess. But I thought these were cute for using on stuff too. And I got these half off, so they paid a dollar fifty for twenty-four Santa Belt stickers. They don't match the one on there, but I don't care. I still think it's cute. And then I hurried up and grabbed the little holiday pieces for my marquee since my marquee had to sit with no letters in it for Halloween. <laughs> Because when I went to go look, they were all gone. So this one is like the candy cane looking letters. And then this one just has like all the holiday pieces. So I like that it had Santa and those are there. And these were 40% off and I don't know if I got an extra 20 or what happened. But I know they were really inexpensive. And then the last item from Michaels. Oh wait, not the last item. One of the items I picked up. This is the only stamp I really wanted. I thought this one was super cute. So I picked up the deer in those little bins. I think she was $1.50. I've already used it. And super cute. I'm going to get that on my white blanket. So my last item before my next little project share. You guys seem to like me sharing my little stuff I make. I don't really get to make too many pocket letters and stuff. Not that often. But I do make a lot of planner stuff. So I'll start trying to remember to share with you guys. But sometimes I forget to dig it out or it's gone before I could show it. Um... Here is a tube of the Santa Belt washi tape. I just think this will go really well with that paper pad there. And I do need to get some more of the stuff in this line before it's gone because it's super cute. But I've just been uh, trying to be good. It's so hard. But anyways, look at my measly little Michaels haul there. That is all I have from Michaels to share with you guys. And let me show you guys my Peppermint Princess. So the Christmas, one of my second Christmas sets I have been making or made was peppermint. Now I am a peppermint girl to the core. I love peppermint season more than the pumpkin spice season. Okay, I had to get situated there because I only had the one hand and she was all messed up. So anyways, I am more of a peppermint person. I love it more than the pumpkin. When everybody goes nuts over pumpkin spice, I am secretly enjoying the pumpkin spice but waiting for uh, peppermint time. So I love peppermint mocha, peppermint anything, candies, hot cocoa. I'll put candy canes in my hot cocoa. I just love it. So I made a planner set that would resemble that <laughs> love for peppermint. So there she is. She would be gorgeous on one of those red leather Kiki K's or even a silver one. Maybe even white. I don't know. She's really cute. And then I made this band here to go with that and put the little peppermint right there in the center. Here is her matching paper clip. And I usually use gold, but I found these um, silver ones that I liked a lot that they're actually, they're really thick gauge, so they'll last long. And they're coated, so they're non-slip. So I like these. Uh, if I'm going to use silver, they've got to be nice quality. I see the ones from the Dollar Tree and stuff, they're so flimsy and they don't, they'll work for like maybe a month and then they start slipping off your paper because they get loose. But these ones are coated with a non-skid plastic and they're actually, you can see how thick it is. So I like it to be sturdy and I like stuff to last. So she is already listed in the Etsy shop. And then I'm going to go get the charm and show you guys the little charm. All right, so here are my little, here's my little charm. Um, I call her Peppermint Dreams. She's really cute. Now this is more for the girls with the little A5s and the smaller planners. They don't really want the big giant poofy ones like I use. <laughs> so these clip to their rings and then they hang down so cute inside their planners. Or actually sticker binders or any kind of binder. This side, this one is good for because it goes down in there and will clip to your ring. And then it just kind of dangles really cute. And I just love this one. She's really cute. And then try not to freak out. This next one is not, um, I haven't shown it on my Instagram yet, but she's really pretty and if you could bottle up a unicorn magic and put it into a visual this is what i came up with so she is rose gold pale blushes and pinks with little bits of leather and i have this rose gold like um mesh ribbon going down in there she's got some ruffles and her iridescent sparkles, these help pick up all the like colors that you're working with, which is really good when you're trying to mix them, you know, tie everything together. And her charm is super cute unicorn with a star, and this is a rose gold charm. I only found one of those. I'm going to be on the hunt for more because I just know I'm going to need more once this one goes on my Instagram. <laughs> But anyways, the back of her, she's got pearls. She's got, I thought this looked like unicorn hair or tails, so I put these pieces in there, and she's just gorgeous. This one is actually, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure this one's already spoken for, but I'm going to get more. <laughs> 
So anyways, here is the Unicorn Magic, and she is gorgeous, so do look for her if you're interested in her. And that concludes my project share and my hauls. I hope you guys will subscribe, leave me some comments below, let me know what your favorite thing from my haul today was, whether it's something from Tuesday morning or the project share, whatever it is. And subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.